our vision of this movie, me getting knocked up, and, uh, and I have a friend, and she's a few years ahead of me in, in the journey, and uh, Josh's wife, Annie, was pregnant, and I was pregnant at the same time, and Susie had two little ones really close together, and it was kind of like, just you wait, <laughs> kind of energy. <laughs> and we, Susie, where are you? Are you? Woo, there she is! Shower visions. And, um, and then we started kind of putting everything down. All the comedy we had experienced in, you know, being a partner of somebody, being pregnant and being pregnant. And, um, and then we found that we were really interested in how it changed our friendships. That was like the way we started organizing all the ideas. I think every woman with friends can understand that. Yeah, on either, on either side. And also like playing multiple ro roles on set to have all these creative partners who do that and play the multiple roles was so nourishing and to hear specific stories of how you ran better things and wrote it and started it and Michelle was and Michelle was getting ready to shoot her first season of Survival of the Thickest where she was playing all roles. and it was uh, yeah it was it was so much fun you seem like you had a really great collaboration Pamela, like we're saying, you did a lot of different, you've had a lot of roles over the years in the industry. How did you decide and how did it work out for you to finally direct your first feature? Well, I, uh, I love this, well, Better Things, I was, I was done, or it was canceled. I was done, or it was, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and uh, I read this script and it really moved me. Um, and I, everything about it, you know, I guess I'm floating more towards the female direction in terms of the worlds that I'm interested in. And so um, I love this script. I thought it was really funny and poignant. It made me laugh out loud. And um, I, there's so many things in it that, that I think that people will discover, like about consent, like that, that one scene with, with Eden and Claude when they're discussing, so the no condom feels, my wheels are spinning. And it, it's like really a scene about consent. And it's something that like, like I want my kids to see that. I want, you know, I think this, this movie is for all ages. I know we're in Texas, but. <laughs> Texas is big. So um, it's, it's all of those uh, aspects of it and really really like the friendship what they go through and how friendships change and morph and somebody gets a partner and somebody gets a kid and maybe another kid and somebody doesn't have that yet and I love when she says best friends get so fucked over in real life and that's such a real thing and she's like I've known you a lifetime longer than Tommy and Melanie's brand new ass might be my favorite line. <laughs> Complicated. Complicated. Um, I wanted to ask, like we're talking about the writing, you love the script, but all of y'all are such, you know, accomplished comedians. How much did you improvise and kind of get to play around together on set? Michelle is an improv queen. <laughs> this is like, like legendary. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? But just the, the every line is a whole concept. You know, it's unbelievable. I mean, we we also really we like dug into the New York comedy scene for people that we could really play with. It was athletic. I would say the it's first also, time. It's also myself. like so important to have a director that will let you play you know, who understands, you know, how your mind works and what you can do and bring to stuff to. So, you know, I, these two writing a fantastic fucking script, this one directing her ass off. I mean, I, I was, I, I felt like Beyonce and Usher at a Super Bowl. I was like, set up for success, you know what I mean? The first note is gonna be banging. I love that, and I especially want to give a shout out, Josh. I don't know if it was you that you, know, you named your baby after me, but I really appreciate um, that that touch. Yes. Dead. <laughs> um, we have more questions from the audience. Um, what? How much of what was happening was kind of inspired by your real pregnancies and real life, and how much was 
kind of maybe other people or your imaginings of what's happening? It was definitely a compilation between all of our experiences and even friends' experiences. Um, Susie's friend did the crawl that you see. <laughs> because second kids come out quick. They come out quick. There's room, you know, made the first time. Like, most, of, all of it comes really from something real. Except to be honest, the seeing if somebody's dilated doesn't really work in real life. That's the one leap of faith we ask you to take with us. The, the second to last scene of her being kicked out of the hospital is one of my favorites. I was standing in the back watching that again. You're not supposed to shit in the diaper. You gotta take that off. I love it. I love that. Um, I was gonna, another question from the audience, from Ezra, what truths about motherhood did you kind of highlight and give room to in this film that maybe you haven't seen in other films? How about you? Uh, what? <laughs> no, truly, I'm like, like that. come again? What are the truths about motherhood that you, I feel like this movie does kind of lay things a little bit more bare than some films. Well, it's raw, like, you know, uh, the guys really wanted it to be raw. Like they want, you know, it's like you see all of this raw stuff in men's comedies and we were just, you know, we weren't trying to be, you know, salacious and like, look, we could do with the, you know. <laughs> what guys do because don't meme that but it's it's really important because we laugh so much as women and as mothers it's so it it can be so dark and scary and uh as women you know your doctors don't really share with you mm -hmm. like what you're going through She's in the doctor's office and he needs uh, like validation about his hair <laughs> all the time. And they're like, no, it's great. I didn't even notice that it was, that's plugs. So it's like that kind of thing. Like you're constantly doing that. And the fear when she says, I'm scared, like a lion is chasing me scared. All of those things are so real and how they can have this argument like when they break up at the dinner and she's like, you know, what are you talking about? I can't take care of you. And she's like, we're family. And then when Dawn comes back and she's the, the knight in shining armor and she says, I'm sorry. She doesn't really have to apologize, but she's, she's saying, I see you, I love you, we're family. And she says, I'm sorry too, I was too much. It's such a beautiful thing. It makes me want to cry. It's it's that's that's women's friendships. That's real. It's definitely how I felt. I, I, I have a best friend with multiple children, and I have no children, so I really I really yeah. see that. Um, other questions. What was it like on set? Was the energy with having so many funny people in one space? Was it hard to handle at times? Or was it just like the blast of all times you just kept adding days to your schedule? You know Spirit Week at daycare where every day it's like crazy pajama day, <laughs> crazy hat day. That's what it was. I didn't know what it was gonna be, but ooh baby. <laughs> it was all day, like I remember just having 11 conversations about that crazy cake. <laughs> The Tommy Wiseau about... cake. <laughs> 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 and also, <laughs> I don't know if you recognize the waiter from the film. Right. Yes! Yeah. I don't know if it was, was that even planned? Laughs. Like, I don't know. Mad laughs, Incredible. Josh. So, I Incredible. mean, you should wait all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but there was one take where, I think it was the first take I headbutted you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then I saw stars. I remember you saying that. You hit me in the head and you said I saw stars and I was like, oh shit, this is why I shouldn't act. I just fucked up the head of the star. <laughs> but no, I mean, I think a lot of it with like the comedy stuff, at least for me, it's like you put this stuff in the script and then you don't, you just write it and you don't realize that, like for instance, when the milk comes out of uh, Dawn during the shrooms thing, you just put that in a thing and we're like, oh, this would be funny. And then you need like 50 incredibly talented people to actually make that real. So I think it's like the anxiety of being like, oh, this would be funny, and then you need incredible people like Pamela and everybody who actually can put that together. So like, 
there's all that anxiety and then you see the milk come out and you're like, oh thank God, this is not crazy. So I think in terms of like the fun of the comedy, there's the fear of the comedy too. I think it's amazing when you have fun making a film. We're gonna do a couple more audience questions. Um, oh, okay, how about, aside from getting mic time, what advice do you have for any early stand-ups who are just starting their journey? How much time do we have? <laughs> I'm gonna run a workshop. Um, don't tell yourself no before someone else tells you no. Uh, keep writing, get very comfortable with rejection. Um, if you do something in a room and someone chuckles, that could be a laugh somewhere else. And don't compare yourself to somebody else's fucking journey, because you're gonna get nowhere. Just keep, you're only in competition with yourself. Are you writing this shit down? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Welcome to a big TED Talk for recording that, yes. Good idea. Damn. She's got it on tape for y'all to watch later. Ooh. I need those notes. <laughs> Some of these questions are very long, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, okay, this is one thing we were talking about backstage, like, are y'all gonna release a blooper reel from this? Yes. What's that? A blooper reel. Oh, okay. I thought you said, are you gonna really move to the suburbs? I was like, <laughs> Oh, no, I just moved. Did you see? I'm sorry, Claudette. I think everyone wants to see like, sure, your behind the scenes. We have to yeah. get money to do it. We'll get right on that. Okay. And then we'll give, give the them bloopers. money and yeah. they will meet your demand. We have the raw footage if we can pay for that, for sure. All right. Um, Pamela, babes, better things. You capture the female experience and intimacy like no other. Where do you find your inspiration? Sending you thanks and love. Oh, well, I mean, I, I, I love human interaction. Uh, I love dark, edgy things, but it's gotta have a heart. It's got, you know, I like to really push the envelope and I like people to feel uncomfortable and then to just release everybody with just heart and hope and a big feeling. It's all in, in transitions and human interactions and. Uh, you know, that's the way I, I see things and, and uh, I'm so happy you guys all came out and um, we really love the movie and are so grateful. I was trying to wrap it up for you. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. I love that. And I just want to say thank you for making the badass big movies that are hilarious about female experiences. We just need more of them. So give us more of everything that y'all do. You're amazing. Thank you. 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 Thank you.